what's up with this? So Donald, Donald Trump up there calling it Chinese virus and then somebody in the Senate called it Kung Fu virus. Listen, there are different cultures and stuff. And yes, it predominantly has emanated from China. And, was, and, and there has been some uh, tension between certain Chinese, Chinese community and black folks and stuff, what have you. But I'm not going to sit here and mock a culture or race based on the flu. You know, I'm not going to give it a name. It's unfortunate. But then again, you got dirty, no washing your hands, white people here in America. Am I going to sit there and say that? Or anybody, you know, for that matter. But calling it a Chinese virus, Kung Fu, and trying to use slurs and names creates racial hostility and tension, which we already got enough of already, you know. My thing is this. Everybody, um, you know, has something that they're dealing with. And you got f- people that you're social from all races, backgrounds, cultures, etc. So, you know, to sit there and to mock somebody in this time of need just ain't cool. You know, because, I mean, you got to be you got to be more smart than that. But see, Trump is toxic. People that support him is toxic. And ironically, you can't talk about uh, Chinese culture, etc., knowing that they run America because America is in debt to China. So that's an interesting twist in the plot in itself. But for someone to sit there and say, oh, it's a Kung Fu virus or this thing and that thing, it's an unfortunate event. But again, people haven't been taking care of themselves all the way around, period. That's the sad part. The sad part is the arrogant. Like, okay, now you know where something maybe originated from, but what you going to do about it when it happens to you? And dumb Donald a month ago was cocky and said it was the Democrats and fake news and media and all that. Now he's up there looking like a puppy without hair on his head and a bone to go dig and put his teeth in. Because now he's just like everybody else vulnerable and fakeable because he's more worried about the Dow Jones and that money. But there's no need to mock uh, Chinese culture, Asian culture in this. You can have an issue with situations that pertain to racial indifferences in a bigger picture. But this here is a little bit different situation. I'm not going to equate it and say because there's more to it than meets the eye. And... Once it goes through the eye, what y'all going to do about it? That's the reality. So that's my thoughts and take. Um, it ain't cool to be calling it a Chinese virus or mocking um, mocking the Asian community behind this because it's a bigger picture with the government and whack Trump and his races behind. So and that's my thoughts and takes about to hit that like and subscribe and the bell ring the video. Welcome to comments. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. I'm out.